Before we even left Lagos, um, we had obviously made plans to um, talk to people in Kano and things. Hello. Salamu alaikum. Anka the nine. Kano um, was actually quite difficult to communicate because they, they spoke Hausa mainly. So, but we're lucky, lucky, lucky to get like um, a driver, our driver who speaks like Hausa, who's from the north, from Nasara, um, to talk to them. So there was quite a lot of like back and forth, talking, talking. Hello, Salamu alaikum. But it was from Abuja to Kano, you think that because they are almost next to each other, that is um, short, but it was such long distances. Now we're getting to the big landmass places and stuff so like everywhere was just long to get to like two three four hours to I think it was like six hours drive we finally got to Kano and we then called the guy and we were asking him oh where should we meet where should we meet the only place I knew was the Kofa Mata Dye Pit so I just googled it Google was like our best friend in all our travels oh my gosh as in I feel like I need to buy something of Google to just be like thank you thank you for saving us because it really helped us. We were waiting for the guy, like I said, uh, but then when we met him and things, we then entered the Kofa Mata Dai Pit, and I was just like, wow, like this is so cool. And I met my best guy, best friend of the whole, like, of my whole like traveling and stuff, like he was my guy, and so uh, he's the one that took us around everywhere and things. His name is Haruna. From organization, I take you around to show you what we are doing. Thank you. Uh, after I explained in the dying pit and take the woman making design at home, so, and show you the process of dying. So he took us around. He explained everything as best as he could. This one, mm -hmm. this current one. Current one. Yes. It's under permutation. Oh. So tomorrow morning, this one is be uh, finished permutation. So tomorrow morning, you can start, start using start, it. Yeah, start oh. using that. The name of this pattern, which you call House of Parliament. House of you know Parliament. Nigeria, I'm practicing democracy. Mm. And this one, what you call bride and bridegroom design. Honesty, hospitality, and friendship. Friendship. Yeah, these okay. are three pillars of Kano. And you see the northern knot. Northern, northern. northern symbol of Nigeria. So Haruna took us to the place where the women like do the tying of the cloth. We then um, passed where the first person that started the Kufa Mata Dai Pit lived. Wow. You call him Mala Muhammad Dapota. I know you said it was heritage. That's from, heritage. From your father to generation to generation. And me and seven generations. Oh. Oh. And he too was born there. And it's like a seven generational like business. And it's a family, it's a family generation family business. And it started in like 1498 or something ridiculous like that. And it's very much still alive. It was really like mind blowing. <laughs> <laughs> so you are welcome to the mama house. I then asked him about like, oh, like the cloth though, where do you make this cloth like and stuff? And then he was telling me, oh, there was like, my guy was telling me that it was um, like, he was saying like it's in the village, like two hours away from there and stuff. And when I was looking at the time, it was like two or three, I was just like, hi, 
ah, can we get there? So he's like, ah, I'll take you. I'll, we're just like, I don't understand. You're going to take us two hours away from here and come back with us. Like, it's like, yeah, no problem. I'll take you, I'll take you. I was just like, okay, this is really weird. Like, I didn't think anybody would do that, but like, thank you. So we went with this guy. The village is called it's, it's Makuda. And I think it's named after the soil or something. Makuda is the soil and it's so beautiful. So Haruna um, took us like around the village and we met like two, three people and things and they were explaining the cloth and I was just looking at the looms. The looms are so much better. The cloth was light. That was the first time I was just like, oh, thank God, there's light, lighter cloth. Like, finally, because I'm not somebody that likes thick, thick um, clo cloth and stuff. So I, when I saw this light cloth, I was like, oh my God, this is so beautiful. And I do like navy blue. It's like, I like the colors that they used and the weaving was so much faster and everything about it was just like, oh my gosh, I don't believe we have this. This is amazing, this is amazing. It's like one, one like the highlights of my, my travels, it was Makuda. Like I even recorded this little boy that was doing the rolling of the yarn. It was nice because it's not like child labor or whatever. It was like, ah, they even gave him money like when he finished, when he finishes his work. I like how they're teaching them the value of working hard and stuff like that. Yeah, something cool really happened that I was just like, it was almost like full circle kind of thing. So my mom, she had seen this picture of Zara Buhari when she got married with this regal indigo fabric and things. And my mom was just like, this cloth is really beautiful. If we could find out where to get it and stuff. When we got to that Makuda, Haruna then showed me, my guy showed me, <laughs> the guy that made that cloth for Zara Buhari. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I had to even take a picture with him and stuff. I was like, ah, like that is crazy. And then I bought some of it for my mom. And so when I came back and I showed my mom, she was like, oh my gosh, that's like, it's just so interesting that all our research and things really brought us to the core person that even made the cloth. I thought that was really awesome. So we came back to the um, Kano city, like the main city, um, two hours back again. And um, Haruna was like, okay, I have to take you somewhere. I have to take you to leather tanning, the tanning place and stuff. I was just like, okay. It's not part of our research, but I was like, why not? We should go, definitely. We saw crocodile, we saw snake skin. We saw, I was just like, this is where Gucci and stuff like import their things from. They were saying that they export all these things to Europe. They are one of the best hiding places in Africa. Mm. The smell of that place is ridiculous. I think that's the, one of the worst smells that I've ever smelled in my life. Like I was, and I was even the best person to take it. Like take it. Like my team was like they couldn't stand the smell. They were like, oh my gosh. So one of them was spitting everything. Like. But it was actually very, for me, it was fascinating. But what I like about leather business is that you, they use everything. So it's not like, oh, they're just cutting it for leather and leaving the meat. They eat the meat, they use everything, which is a good thing. It's like still like helping the environment. Mm. Part where like he was showing us somebody picking the, the warp thread. Some guy was just picking it, picking it. So I was just thinking like his whole day is just picking, picking, picking because of specialization and stuff. For me, I'm not sure about the quality of his life because he's just picking that every day. I think.